Cardos. What kind do you like? I have been um, a CE2 user for the past year or more. I swore by them. I've gotten thousands of hours of uh, great vaping from them, even with the damn leaking. But I don't want them anymore because now I love these. These are the Got Vapes Flux Phoenix. Okay, these are bottom coils. And when you get them, it comes in this box like this. I think they're $12 or $13 for a box of five. And you also get one of those disgusting rubbery um, drip tips with it. And you also get um, a blunt needled syringe for filling. <clears throat> they come individually packed like this. What I'm doing, I want to show you um, how easy they are to take apart and clean. Okay, so when you get them, they're going to have this rubber mouthpiece. Just pop that sucker out. You don't need it. Then there is this inner tube here. This is um, the cap that keeps your juice from leaking out. This is kind of hard to get out sometimes, and you want to be careful not to rip it because you really, really need that um, to fit snugly in there. But when you want to clean it, you just put something in. I use this little tiny um, flathead screwdriver, and I gently pull it out. And yeah, usually I can do it faster than this. Of course, I'm on camera. It's going to take a while. Okay, set that aside. Now you're left with your tube, your bottom, and then that um, air vent. And I'm going to use a piece of shit mod that was... Uh, put on the tables at vape stock for free and believe me they're free because of one thing they don't freaking work they are good for this purpose though what you're gonna do when you're ready to clean it take out that stopper then you're gonna gently rock this and pull at the same time rock pull rock pull rock pull you want to be gentle you don't want to break your tube and you'll see that this part here will also disconnect from this here. This is your bottom coil. This is your atomizer coil wick. Very teeny tiny wick. You can see it barely even sticks out the sides. There's like these slots on either side where they just barely stick out. And what you would do when you take it apart is just rinse this piece, rinse this, rinse this, rinse this and then what I do is I dry burn this if they're if the coil is gunked up after I have to say after drying it of course you know I blow through this to get the excess water out and then with this I blow through it and then I also take some paper towel and I kind of just press it in here very gently because you don't want to damage your coil just let the paper towel soak up any moisture that might be in the wicks so dry burn it. You do not want to dry burn these on a high voltage. I usually put my whatever I'm using down to 3.7 to dry burn these. I found that if you do it much higher than that, they tend to they'll just they burn out on you right that right then and there. Okay, so then putting it back together, you just take this piece, you snap it back in. Now I have had one or two of these that after the first use and after I take them apart this part becomes very loose and doesn't stay on here snug if this piece becomes loose don't bother using it because you're going to get it it's gonna wiggle the second that you put the tube back on and you're gonna you're just gonna lose all your juice okay so putting it back together simple as pie pop that back on and this piece, you want the curved part facing up. And what I do is I take the other end of my thing, because it fits in here perfectly, and I just use that to push it down. And then I come in with the other part and push it down all the way where it needs to be. And I just screwed it up. Come on now. Okay. Now to fill these, you have to. And I mean you have to. Fill them with a syringe, and you must fill them while holding it upside down.
you would just take your syringe. There's a little fill hole on this um, rubber thingy. Put it in like that. Fill it just about all the way. Now I am even to the point where I'm even putting my drip tip back on while it's still upside down. Something with the air pressure. If you fill it facing up, all the juice, it becomes like a siphon. Now, I say I love these. And I do. I love them. The flavor on these is so full flavored. I, I just, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, what I, I, something that happens once in a while and I can't figure out why. I will be in the middle of using one of these. I could be using it for hours with no problem. Set my mod down, come back to it 20 minutes later, go to take a drag, it's leaking. Out of nowhere, for no apparent reason. Everything seems to be in place. It hasn't been messed with. And once it starts leaking, once you go to blow out the bottom, that's it. You've lost the whole thing of juice. Siphons. Gone. If somebody could explain to me why this happens just out of nowhere, I, I would love to know because it drives me crazy. Now, my friend Chris says that if that happens, if you start getting leakage and you blow through the battery end instead, it will get rid of whatever's in the center post and it won't leak anymore. It won't do the siphon thing. I tried it the other night. It didn't work. Sorry, Chris, it didn't. I'm going to try it the next time I have a leak. But the good thing about these is, is the leaks don't happen that often. So if only I could figure out why it's leaking and make it stop completely, these would be like almost perfect. They would be totally perfect if I didn't have to use a syringe and hold it upside down. I don't like using syringes, it's a pain in the ass. And I don't want to travel around with one of these. I, I don't want that kind of stigma. You know, it's, it's bad enough that, you know, you're vaping in public. A lot of people don't know what the hell you're doing in the first place. And then to pull one of these out and say, ho, ho, yeah, I'm not doing drugs. No, 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 no. So that is the Phoenix bottom coil. I highly suggest them. The puppy escaped. I wasn't paying attention. He's over there now. Hey, Taco. Hey, Taco. He's wrestling with Strudel. Hey, Taco Paco. Come here. Come here. Come here. You want to say hello? No, screw that. He wants to play. So that's all I've got for you for now. Go to gotvapes.com and give the Phoenix bottom coil a try. I really, really love them, and I, I highly recommend them. And, and until next time, vape on, your faces see? off. It's on. No, don't. Don't wake me. Look who I got. I got Taco Paco. Taco, say hi to everybody. Show them how big you're getting. Oh, Foey. Look, look, everybody. He's getting really big. Ew, his dangly dangly is wet. Why is it wet? Oh, why is it on me? Okay. Taco. Taco, look at the camera. Taco, look at the camera. No? Say no? Say bye-bye. Taco, look at the camera. Say bye-bye. Hi, camera. Hi, Strudel. Okay.